Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy in a beautiful sensory garden here at Zoo Montana. You can see all these flowers behind me. And of course, you guys know flowers so important so for so many species. And we're going to talk about one of my favorite flower dependent species, the hummingbird. And I'm going to show you some really great video that we've got of these hummingbirds up in the mountains near Butte. Now, in Montana, we have seven, seven different species of, of hummingbirds. One of those is accidental, so really six native species. And what you're looking at mostly is you're looking at the rufous and the black chinned hummingbirds, okay? Now the black chin, you're gonna tell the, the black chin, the rufous has kind of the white little patch. The rufous is actually a species of special concern, meaning they're not doing real well, so it's pretty neat to see them. Now what you're gonna notice is obviously they hover, and that's what gives the name a hummingbird, the hummingbird, because as they flap their wings at like 60 beats per second, you're hearing their wings flapping, that's what gives them the humming sound, kind of cool. Now the thing about hummingbirds, because they flap those wings so fast, they have to use a lot of energy. And the problem is, is that at night they use so much energy, they have to go into what's called a torpor when they go to sleep. It's kind of like a hibernation. Their heart rate slows down to about 50 beats per minute. Now that sounds like a lot of heartbeats, of course, for a human, but a normal heart rate of a hummingbird is over 1,200 beats per minute. So it slows down to 50, it almost looks like they're dead at nighttime. It takes them about an hour to get out of that torpor and then boom, they're off for the day to go get energy. Now because they eat nectar and they eat a lot of that sugary type of food, it gives them the energy they need to do what they need to do. A couple other cool things about hummingbirds. They are the only bird that can fly forward and backwards. They of course can hover, but they like to perch because it takes so much energy for them to fly, they will actually perch on trees quite a bit. In fact, here in the video you can see them perching on this little nectar feeder that was put up on this cabin. But they've got a long tongue that they use to get into the flower to get that nectar. They help pop pollinate flowers, so they are an incredibly important species. And last but not least, they are an amazing, powerful animal. One of my favorite stories is the ruby-throated hummingbird found down in Florida. They have to fly across the Gulf of Mexico. That's 500 miles in one flight. If, they, if they're slow or if they don't make it, they will drown. But this little tiny bird, 500 miles with those wings flapping that fast, that is a survival tactic that you won't see anywhere else in the animal kingdom. Pretty amazing. So guys, until next time, I am Jeff the Nature Guy. Keep your eyes out for a lot of these cool animals like the hummingbird, even right here in Billings. Until next time, I'll see you at the zoo.